Hi! It deeply saddens me to say that people can no longer mass dislike my videos in a flaming rage. Or anyone's, really. YouTube decided to remove the user symbol of dissidence, the dislike button, even though this button is what lets people know what videos are fake or poorly made. Not to mention dislikes have changed the policies of some companies in the past as it shows consumer backlash. The fact of the matter is that any YouTuber can already go into their settings and disable rate or comments if they would like to. So the YouTube Susan argument about reducing attacking behavior they're trying to pull here doesn't really hold up. Instead, it's probably stuff like this that's the real reason. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of disliking Democrat candidates, presidents, anti-Trump, big tech, lizardberg stuff, you know? Pretty much every liberal garbage Silicon Valley is intent on pushing gets massively unfavored on social media. So with this, I'd like to mention that Google was in the top five of financial donors to the Joe Biden campaign in 2020, which may have something to do with them enforcing this uh, don't critique the president too much policy. I don't know. YouTube also got caught deleting 2.5 million dislikes from Biden's official YouTube channel in an attempt to make him look more popular. Many have noticed his videos on average get more dislikes than likes, and comment sections were so critical the White House eventually turned them off. The close ties between Google and the Democrat Party have been covered before, among other things, by outlets like The Blaze. There's many examples of it, but Google is also kind towards Wall Street, as they deleted thousands of negative reviews of the Robin Hood app during the meme stocks incident. The point is that Google is a big tech oligarch, and the days of broadcast yourself are over. Now it's more like fuck yourself, because it's becoming increasingly more about old institutions making this site into television. YouTube is now a site where the people in charge speak about their creators as shit stains in a basement, justifying shadow ban of people who aren't afforded it enough. They went from being a platform that focuses on the demands from its users to a platform that focuses on the demands of corporate media, while more and more making sure their users just aren't taken care of. Less than a year ago, they ruined the comment section for all of us, which I covered in a video. Now comments get automatically deleted. Conversations can no longer be had if something is perceived as too anti-Biden or too whatever, and now it's getting rid of the dislike button. One just can only imagine what happens next. YouTube is a company shamelessly admitting they've invested millions into making these dying media institutions established on their site, which they weren't before, they were just organically not interesting. But yeah, YouTube invested millions as well as made many algorithm changes to make mainstream media more visible and pushed on viewers, all while making YouTubers more invisible to the point where they no longer even get suggested in relation to news stories. In fact, YouTube's CEO was even warned by its engineers that users don't actually want to watch authoritative channels, so to speak, and mainstream media content isn't getting much engagement. But Susan, the genius queen that she is, simply replied it's their duty to keep users informed. Because that's what the mainstream media is known for, right? Keeping people informed rather than misformed. She told those engineers to just keep pushing the algorithms anyway, and in other interviews she's proudly boasting to the mainstream about the new shadow ban system being used to combat whatever opinions she doesn't feel like promoting. Let's just be honest with it. Do I need to quote some stupid statement, some stupid official blog, when everyone knows what's really happening? Now we're seeing so-called borderline content that doesn't even violate the site's guidelines, but still for some reason should be treated like cancer, getting a 70% reduction in views. This is pretty much what happened to my channel over the past years. Naturally, censorship is bad for business, so that's why they invented shadow ban instead of doing it outright. Doing it outright would make them look very, very, very bad. And so when you add it all together, it makes sense that this very same CEO is probably pretty annoyed by the tsunami of dislikes that always follows with whatever inorganic biased garbage 
encourage mainstream content, YouTube is investing money and algorithms into pushing. And let's not forget what happened with the YouTube Rewind a while back. That was, uh, oof, it didn't look good for the platform. It's probably also pretty annoying for Google to see their favorite presidential candidate slammed by everyone on social media. Keep in mind Google is the same company that lost their minds and started grieving when Donald Trump became president in 2016. At which point they swore to fight this so that this could never happen again. Everyone in the establishment seriously believed that Clinton would win against Trump. There's no way Trump is gonna win. Every mainstream outlet, every liberal oligarch was convinced, but he did. He did win. So panic ensued, and that's when YouTube started going downhill with all of these changes. From this perspective, I can see why the dislikes just aren't very favorable to them. Because YouTube is no longer YouTube. It's DemTube now. So make sure you follow me on my favorite YouTube alternative, Odyssey. It's a very good video host with a pleasant diversity of content and wholesome rules. I also recommend you sign up for my newsletter before you get magically unsubscribed from my channel, because that's been a big problem for a few years as well. With my newsletter, there's 100% guaranteed notification slash satisfaction, while with YouTube notifications, there's only impotence. You don't want to trust YouTube notifications. It's like expecting Joe Biden to perform without Viagra. So these are good backups to have, as YouTube certainly won't notify you if something were to happen to this channel. Just know that I try to upload once a week, so I'll see you soon again.